McCluskey presents Arcade Talk Live Stream. Welcome, everybody, to another arcade talk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. So sit back and relax because the show starts now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Welcome, everybody, to another Arcade Talk live stream. Hope everybody had a great week so far, having a great day today. we got one more day, and it'll be the weekend, and Arcade Friday Arcadians will be on. Or the Arcade Friday Arcade Show, I do believe, but that's tomorrow night. But we're here tonight. Thanks, everybody, for stopping by. I appreciate it. Today, we're going to be talking PS2 games, our top 5 and 10, and I got some personal news as well. We get Papa Brad on here. Hey, what's here. happening? What's, what's happening? Team McCloskey on? on the road. Nothing stops him from doing a show. From on a hotel room. Nonetheless, on nonetheless, T, what is going on? How is your week? I know you've been hitting the road, checking out – uh some amazing things. So I'm um, glad to see that you were able to get the show, even if we're going remote today. Yep. Back in the hotel, man. Can't make a habit of this. <laughs> I know. But yeah. Well, busy all week traveling, times. looking at houses. So we got some cool people in the chat. We got Brooklyn Menace here, old school <laughs> 74, Hobby Hands. What's happening, Hobby Hands? Good to see you. Hello. He says, hello, guys. Brooklyn Menace says cheers. I'll say cheers back. Friday night arcade show tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one, T. It's gonna be a good one. We're, we're doing we're doing the summer games. We got four games we're playing on the Friday night arcade show. Friday. Goal, goal, goal. Show. I put that Canadian indeed. Together. Yep, championship V ball. It's a biggie D. Yeah, there's some cool games you guys are going to be doing tomorrow night. I know. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And I love playing with the community. That's one of the best parts of it is we get to play um, online with the community live. That's a lot of fun. And lots of iArcade stuff happening. Um, they dropped a community post today. Yes, that. iArcade announcement. Great. I said, I cannot wait. But iArcade... An arcade console, iArcade Live, an arcade console. And that's what it said. And if you click on the actual window to play the video, it says the complexities of a simple concept. So those are the clues we have to, uh, you know, speculate about iArcade. So, what's anybody think about that in the chat? Of that statement yeah. that iArcade left? Yeah, it's pretty concept. The complexities of a simple concept. And then it says I arcade live and arcade console. Now I've already personally asked them if they're gonna make a console like like a, a, a TV type console, and they said no. Oh, okay. but I mean, uh, you know, could it like that's what I thought, Biggie D could it mean a home console? But when I directly asked them on a stream. They said no, but I guess, you know, with, with iArcade, it seems like it's impossible to speculate. So, yeah. um, you know, I am just going to patiently wait and hopefully be surprised pleasantly, you know, pleasantly surprised, but hopefully you it's never know. Hopefully, hopefully it's, it's good surprised. news and not bad news, you know. Um, yeah. Any way you cut it, I still like iArcade. My, my feeling is it's not going to be bad news. I don't think so. My personal yeah. opinion. My personal opinion is 
I mean, Goofy Foots pretty much has it summed up. No yeah. idea what is going on. That's pretty much everyone. Um, and, you know, really, iArcade has been so in touch with their own community. Like, literally, like, you know, every week or every two weeks have been doing some kind of live stream or connecting with the community. And so, uh, you know, that's why I think people are so freaked out with when I arcade said they need, they're taking a little silent time. Um, but you know, like, what? Ah! it was like, yeah, it's the end of the world, you know, <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's so, I mean, yeah, wait and see, wait and see what's going on, you know, and what time is that tomorrow? What's going on 11 o'clock central from 11 o'clock oh, so central. Yeah, noon Eastern. Noon yeah, Eastern. Eastern. Yep. Noon Eastern. Yeah. Hobby Eastern. Hands. Eastern all day. Hobby Eastern. Ants coming in hard with the hard questions. We started with Home Arcade Talk because I thought we were going to talk Home Arcade. Uh, you run the show. Where are we going first? Still looking for a house. I'm still looking for a house, Hobby Ants. Yeah. Still looking for a house. But, but I might have found one. Mm hmm. Hope it's great news. This is Murtop, hopefully. Uh, Murtop, for those not in the know, is a combination of uh, Bomberman and Dig Dug. It's a fantastic new retro game. Oh, yeah, Murtop. Developers said they were bringing it to iArcade. Um, but then, you know, that was the last, last I heard about it. It's on Steam right now, but I've been holding out. That's right. It's on Steam right now, yeah. I've been holding out to get it on iArcade. I played the demo, and I loved it. So I know I'm going to love the game. Thought I saw you under a bridge living in a box. No, nope. not living in a box. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. But we will see. Okay. We want to get into uh, our top PS2 games? Yeah. Yeah, let's roll it. Or you got more I arcade news? Uh, yeah, there's a little more I arcade news. Their sale goes on today and tomorrow. Like if you're looking to get games for a discount, they have most of the games are 25% off and Mayhem Brawler is 50% off right now. So they still got the deals on the games. Um, Look at the deals. Yeah, definitely. Because once they're on your machine, they can never take them away from you. You know, it doesn't, you don't have to connect to the internet to play any games on the, on the iArcade. Um, Cause I've had my internet go out and you can still play all the games. It doesn't matter. It's um, it's not. It doesn't need. A, it doesn't uh, do like a validation check, like at games, like basically if you can't connect to the internet, like, like certain things will not work at all, you know. But iArcade's not that way, as far as the games just running. Yeah. So that's that's one good thing about iArcade. You buy the games, you own them, just like if you bought a physical copy. It's permanently on your machine unless you erase it. Oh, that's one thing too. I don't know if everybody has talked about it or nothing, but um, I know I uh, arcade one up um, just getting four thousand risers from China um, last Friday. So you'll probably start seeing some risers in stores out there because awesome. I mean they got four four thousand risers last Friday shipped in from China. So that's a pretty big. It actually said in the description. Um, uh -huh. it actually said it said. Um, risers oh, riser news riser news we got risers risers yeah, are coming yeah, risers. four thousand Risers are coming and somebody, uh, somebody mentioned that too that there are going to be risers in stores or something and then uh, i saw last weekend that they got four thousand risers in so like whoever said that was correct yeah biggie d says i got space invaders now great game that's good news yeah uh, man the space invaders and i arcade they spent a year and a half making that one game and it's yeah. it is the best version of Space Invaders. Period. I mean, I love it. It's great. Yeah, Space Invaders is an awesome game. You know, and all those Walmart, um, those cheaper arcade one ups, they all don't come with risers. So not having a riser, I mean, I couldn't imagine playing arcade one ups without have risers. The ones that need them, it'd oh, be yeah. so low to the ground, you know. So I guess that's probably why they ordered in all those risers then, because of all those cheap ones at Walmart. Yeah, Walmart does those ones with no marquee and um, no riser, you know. So that's why they ordered all those. If that thing gets too noisy, man, let me know. Do you think, it, or Hobby Hands, do you think if uh, one up would make inline risers for current cabs, would they sell? I think they would. 
Of course they would sell. And, and to get anything up in the air, I think people would buy. Yeah. Hey, what's up, Killer J? That's on background is cool. Yeah, the on background of Space Invaders. Pretty awesome. Welcome to the stream, Killer J. Welcome, welcome in. Okay, we're gonna do top top PS2 games. Yeah, yeah. Want to run yours first or mine first? You can you can run mine first. You told me top five, and my initial list of games had like thirty games on it. T. Like well, I forgot I how much I loved the PS2. Like really, when you start going back, it was such a strong console. I mean, it, there were so many games on it that were fantastic. Like. You know, I started with 30, literally 30. And then I was like, well, I'm, I need to cut it down. And so I did I did cut it all the way down to 10. But I, I did you an act of mercy. I'm going to show you my 10 favorite PS2 games in under three minutes. That was yeah, my see, video. My, mine are longer. <laughs> That's like, good. Mine's short. Like, I get it out of the way. I ripped the Band-Aid off. I was like, these are my top 10. But really, it could have been, like I said, there's, I mean, my initial list was around 30 games. I started looking into the library, and there was so much, so many good things on in that the PS2 did. We'll talk about that later, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, and I told you, you can uh, do more than top five if you, if you wanted to. And you're like, ah, I could do it. And then all of a sudden, you came back, and I did 10. I'm like, I knew it. I knew you could do it. Yeah, I couldn't. I couldn't do five. I couldn't do five because it's like I'd have to leave out t too many. I mean, yep. Okay, you gotta bear with me here. I'm not sure. Yeah, I know it's hard to do everything remote. It's hard enough to do it like when you're sitting with all your stuff that you're used to using. I can only imagine being in a in a remote location trying to make all this work. It's so, a pain in the ass. It is a pain. Uh, stop screen. Old school 74 says, how can you not root for Jong? Seems like such a nice, I can tell you, I have had many communications with Jong and he is so nice. Such a, such a good, good person. I mean, so easy to talk to. Um, easy going. Okay. Wow. I think it's in here. Let's see. Hit play. We'll see what happens. This is Papa Brad. I'm going to tell you my top 10 PS2 okay. games no video. in two and a half minutes. Let's get it started. I can make it live on my channel if that helps. You can't see that. I and mean, you can see a blank, black screen, but it doesn't show up. It's not showing up. Yeah. I can just drop it live on my channel. Hold on one second. Let me just release the video. Well, I can try to. Uh... Yeah. If it's not going to play, I'll just drop it live on my channel right now. Okay. Stop. Uh, share video, see if that works. Hello gamers, this is Papa Brad. I'm going to tell you my top 10 PS2 games in two and a half minutes. Let's get it started. To start with three of my favorite fighters. Soul Calibur 3. DOA 2 Hardcore. I mean, it's got Kasumi in it. What more do I need to say? And of course, Tekken 5. I think these are three of the best fighters on the PS2. Then we're going to go to the Devil May Cry series. Just basically two games that have to be in this. Would be Devil May Cry and Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. And some of these are just, they're really big series. So I'm just going to put the series. Honorable mention to Twisted Metal Black. But as a racing game, I have to go with Gran Turismo as my main pick. For this console's generation, Gran Turismo was a standard by which racing games were rated. And then, of course, if we're talking... This this game, man, kind of reminds me of GTA, too. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah. It's a great game. Are you talking? No, I'm not talking. Is okay. it playing? Is the video playing? Yeah, yeah it's Grand Theft Auto 3, I think. I just put Grand Theft Auto oh, series. Yeah, you did put it. Okay. Yeah, no wonder I the, GTA. Yeah, because some of the games had like two or three games. Like, how do you pick one? They're they're all good. I mean, they were all good. I picked like Devil May Cry. PS2. No games are greater 
Then the Grand Theft Auto series, Grand oh, Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, you what? and of course Grand I Theft Auto San Andreas. And the Grand Theft Auto trilogy oh. is must play PS2. My favorite Metal uh, Gear Solid game in the PS2 era was Sons of Liberty. Sim Sim. Then, of course, Resident Evil 4. Arguably my, one of the best Resident Evil games. Shadow of the Colossus. What an amazing game. Giant monsters. Count me in. The very top of the, all of the PlayStation games is the God of War series. This is why you have a PlayStation. These are my top 10 picks for PS2 games. Thank you and stay legit. There you go. There you go. My top 10. Man, I you mean, did that fast, man. <laughs> I went fast. Under three minutes. Under three minutes, my top 10 games. I mean, you know, how can you not, like, love, like, Grand Theft Auto series, Devil May Cry, Resident Evil, Metal Gear Solid. I mean, the PS2 had some amazing games. I mean, just looking back, like some of those games, I liked all three of them. They were all like like incredible games, you know? Yep. You know, I mean, I was going to save it for show and tell, but we'll get the first show and tell out the way. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there it is. There they are, man. I got my copies of all of them. All nice. of them. Vice City, San Andreas, man. There it is. But, you know. Nice. Grand Theft stuff. Auto 3 was so revolutionary. I remember when it came out, there was nothing like that. I mean, it was just, it was its own, you know, it was like a giant step. The open world like that. The craziness, the trouble you could get into, you know. Gold School says I have God of War collection for PS3. Absolutely. Same, same. So came so two come, online. So come two online was pretty good. I don't remember that one. Mm -hmm. don't remember that one? Oh, what did Papa Brad say in there? Oh, they just want to know who made my logo. Mason Conrad made my logo. He does Retro Ralph, too. I'll oh, be hands. And local thrift always has PS2 games. Some good, some bad, but the prices are great. One to three dollars. Yeah, the, that's one good thing. The PS2 in general is fairly reasonable to collect for. I mean, the games are pretty cheap. Because they, they were so popular, you know. They made a zillion yeah. copies of them, you know. And it's so easy to find them. And it's like, you know, the best games, they sold so many copies, you know. It's kind of like the Atari 2600. It's the same way. It's like the very best games, they made a gazillion cartridges. So they're not valuable, you know. They're not hard to collect. They're not expensive. You know, the best games, you know, are, are really affordable in general. For Atari, too. Same thing. PS, PS2, same way. PD7, what's up, Phil? Happening, PD7. In the chat. King of the walk and talk. Tim, are you in NC again? Uh, yes, I was, man, all week. All week. It's the road show. The road show. The road show today. Going road over show. the PS2 games, our, our top favorite PS2 games. We just showed my top 10 list, PD7. I guess you're going to go next, huh? Yeah, mine might take a little longer than yours. Thumbs That's up. That's excellent. That's excellent. That seemed to run pretty smooth, right? Yeah, I mean, that works. Right. Whatever you did, run the next one the same way. Whatever you did that way, it worked. The other it way seemed, it didn't. When I'm on home with my PC, man, it, to go through StreamYard, it doesn't work. But I'm on the freaking road with the Wi-Fi from the hotel, and it works. What's up with go that? Go figure. Go figure, man. Freaking ridiculous. It's weird. Technology. I have such problems at home with uh, bringing files in and play them on stream stream yards. Not not on the road. Crazy. Oh, guys, I'll have another uh, walking show episode two coming up this weekend. Awesome, awesome. I was wait. on the beach. Can't wait. I love walking talks. They're so they're so interesting to watch. 
I think it's a great form of content. You could talk about anything. Yes. Steps Gaming. What's up, Steps? You know, Steps Gaming made a thousand subs. She's doing great. She's having great Congrats. channel growth, just like Papa Brad. It's like, you know, all of us YouTubers that are doing positive content, we're seeing lots of growth. Congrats, Steps, for hmm? thousand subs. Nice, nice, nice. It's not hard. It's not easy, man, to get a thousand. No, no. But you get there, you stay positive, keep making positive content, and it's going to happen. Nice. I'll be hand you right, man. I should. I, I could actually put my new way toys in my suitcase, especially since I only got two. Yeah. And they would fit, man. I could actually stack them up somewhere. Did you hear about the rumor that Rexer said? What would you think if Glenn Planamento and New Wave Toys made a three quarter scale arcade? Can you imagine? They were Are doing we a speculative video on the Rexer show. We talked and about that on the show, man. Yeah. Yeah, he was saying, "What if, what if Glenn's? Because they're definitely they they're, they talk to each other all the time. You know, Glenn has the contests for New Wave Toys on his channel. What if Glenn and New Wave Toys teamed up to make a three quarter scale arcade? They would do it right. So they would do it right. They do a great job with you know the the uh, oh the, the, yep. the is it one six scale? What scale? I don't." Sixteenth, isn't it? One sixteenth scale arcades. Like I love the cubert I have. It's amazing. Yeah, just like we we talked you know, on this uh, show before. It's like you, they would do it right. All the details would be there. Yeah. It's like now, you know, their latest uh, cabinets came with freaking coin operated coin doors. And they even come with like the power cord. Like if you would actually plug yeah. it into the wall, I mean, yeah. a lot of detail. It's insane, you know. It's insane. And so it, they and they see they would be like. Um, I arcade and at games. They'll do it. Would be. They would be. It seems like they really listen, and the owner seems really super cool. He was on. Uh, he was on. Uh, Glenn's show. He seems like yeah. a good guy. You know, from yeah, what I saw. I saw, I saw their uh, giveaway. I wasn't yeah. it, man. I I saw yeah, my freaking. I, one. I saw my uh, logo come up on that um, giveaway oh, they were giving. And I was like, cool. <laughs> I was close to the end. I'm like, I was afraid for my uh, logo to pop back up because uh, I mean I saw it. At the very it's end. I love that. When you're in a contest, you see your little name go by or your logo, whatever, when they're doing spinning a wheel or whatever. I saw it twice. I'm like, oh. <laughs> I was like, I thought I would have had it. But um, unfortunately not. That's how you know it was fair, too, you know? When they hide all that, they could just be giving it to their friend, you know? Right, yeah. So, I mean, that's how you know it's fair when you see everyone's name coming up like that. And I think, uh, is it YouTube that has a built-in random name generator? It's either StreamYards or YouTube. There's a way you can do it where it's completely fair too, using the software that you use for streaming. Yeah, I'm not sure if YouTube has it or not. It's either YouTube or StreamYards. One of them has it built in. I haven't done it yet, but 32-bit arcade, loving the stream, man. Doing a great job. We are in the UK. We're only able to catch live every now and then, now and again. Dang, I can't get my uh, video to pull up. Oh, he says a thousand subs. Now I'm hungry. Dude, I had Subway the other day. It's been a while since I've been in a Subway. Subway? Yeah, it wasn't bad. I like it every now and then. Yeah, I, mean, I, don't, I don't get it often, you know. It's like it's been quite a while since I've been to a subway and got a, a sub, but it wasn't bad, you know. Of course, I'm having trouble with my video. What's up with that? Did you upload it to your channel? You could always release it there and play it as a as a presenting screen. Yeah, see, this shows it black. I hear it. Yeah, but I don't think there's anything there. Yeah, I, I try. I don't have it uploaded. My don't have it uploaded to your YouTube. No. I didn't think I'd have any problems. You know, the bad thing is I didn't freaking try to put. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Uh, it's not showing it. 
So anyway, I'll, I'll do some show and tell. I brought some PS2 uh, games that I have physical copies. Now, Papa Brad, back in the PS2 ages, I was a hacker. So I have a hacked PS2 that plays pretty much every game. And the way it works is that you put a uh, computer hard drive in it, and then there's a boot loading program it runs. You had to put a mod chip in it. It was very complicated, but basically it plays all the PS2 games without needing the discs. Um, but here's some real PS2 games that I actually have the physical disc for. Um, I'm going to start with one of my favorites. Now, you know I would you know I would have to have this one, a real copy. Do you know anything about Papa Brad? He loves pinball. Yep. This is called Pinball Hall of Fame, and this has some fantastic Williams tables on it. It has Black Knight, Firepower, Funhouse, Pinbot, Gorgar, Space Shuttle, Taxi, and Whirlwind. This was, I wore this, this disc, I didn't wear it out, it still works, but this disc got a lot of play. I love this. Pinball simulation is called Pinball Hall of Fame for the PS2. L oh my goodness, look, I bought it from Blockbuster. It still has a Blockbuster sticker in it. Can you see it? It says Blockbuster. That's where I must have bought the, the game from. <laughs> it has a Blockbuster logo inside the case. That's, that's, that's crazy. And something that didn't make my, you know, when I had to cut it down to 10, this was one I almost wish I hadn't cut, but. I was a massive fan. I mean, I was so into this. This was a huge part of the PS2. I'm talking about Guitar Hero. Guitar Hero and Guitar Hero 2. These were fantastic, fun games. You know, and uh, Rock Band was fun too, but I always liked Guitar Hero a bit more, even though Rock Band, you had the whole band. Um, Guitar Hero for me just had a lot of magic. These are great, great games, you know. The Guitar Hero Metallica is sweet. Sam Sam's Arcade, I 100% agree. I love Guitar Hero. I even like the arcade Guitar Hero is awesome when I come across it. Um, looking at discs that I have physical copies for. Now, you know what happened, T? Guess what happened yep. with Papa Brad? Once he got that hacked PS2, guess what I did with all my PS2 games? They're more. Sold every one of them. No, I sold every one of them for money because I didn't need them anymore. But I had, yep. a, I, I, I probably had, I mean, I must have had a hundred games. Remembering all these games I had, these are the ones that I just kept though for some reason. Um, maybe they weren't worth much money, but I mean, this one I love. I mean, it's a Devil May Cry, of course. What's up, Calvin? Yeah. Devil May Cry to me was one of the first games. Like it blew me away. Like when I played it, I couldn't believe how good it was running on the PS2 hardware. Just such a good action game. The gothic elements. And like I said, I really liquidated. Once I had had a hacked PS2, I pretty much liquidated my game collection. So I remember having all physical copies of these games. And nice cap. You want to see the last one that I have? This is the last one I have. Let's I see. I can it. play all the games, though. I have binders also full of burned discs, but that's a whole other thing. that one that's a rarity the nightmare before christmas oogie's revenge this is a crazy rhythm action game it reminds me of something like a parappa the rapper you have to press buttons and combinations but I always love the nightmare before christmas yeah I like and uh, this is basically like a music game similar to parappa the rapper but it uses the nightmare before christmas world um so you know Still love all these games, and I can play them all now um, through my modded PS4 uh, 2 that can play burn discs, and it can also play it can play the games off of a hard drive, which is the best way to play them. You want to know why? The hard drive loads faster. Well, yeah, and you never true. have to worry about you, you know what I don't miss about this stuff? Scratch discs. Yeah, yeah. You never get really far into a game. Like, and then the game disc is scratched in that spot it needs to get to the next little part of the game. Yep. That was so frustrating. I don't miss that. Yeah. But, um, yes, it was nice, though, because some of those uh, video stores would actually, you know, clean it for you. Gets the scratches out. Scratch yeah, resurface them. 
Yeah, that was nice. They're surfacing, you know. That's one thing we don't have to worry about without having, you know, the the compact the the disc format like that. 1999 Silent Hill always stood out for me. Sam Sam says. I don't remember uh, 1999 Silent I wonder Hill. if that's why Nintendo went back to cartridges. Like I have a GameCube. The GameCube used discs, those little tiny discs, which are which are basically like CD-ROMs. They're, they're their own thing. I forgot what they call them, but then they went to cartridges, back to cartridges. You know, cartridges yeah. are amazingly reliable. I mean, you can yeah. buy Atari stuff, you know, what is it, 50 years old, and it still you know, works. Works. You just, you know, you might have to put a little alcohol on them connectors, them edge connectors yeah. before you plug push it in. But yeah, it's amazing how hard that hardware is to kill. Well, you know, it stands up for kids, you know, because kids are gonna scratch CDs. Yeah. You know, speaking so, of Atari, yeah. you know what I picked up, T? An Atari 2800. I it's, know you did. It's the rarest Atari. Like it's it's like a holy grail Atari console to own. Guess how much I got it for? Forty bucks. Forty bucks. Yep. Forty bucks for an Atari uh, oh, 2800. I didn't even know what it was. I had to look it up. I saw the listing. I was like, "What is this?" And man, it has the best. Um, I use the RF out, the original connector the Atari has. It has the cleanest RF out I've ever seen on an Atari console. It's 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 almost like there's no static or fuzz at all. It's just like perfectly clean. It's amazing. So I ran I run it through an old TV. I got off I, I my uh, retro gaming TV. I bought for ten dollars at Goodwill, <laughs> and it's perfect. It plays like the games look great on it, you know, because they were designed for that. You know, it's from that time period. So it it's all. Looks- Kind of like the, the 2600 Mini is kind of like um version after that 2800. They look similar. Yeah, yeah. The 2800 style. looks a little more like the 7800. Yeah. Um, but, yeah. But I have a lot of – I did my I did a walk and sock, an Atari walk and sock, when I went on the adventure to uh, try to get this Atari. And it was quite – it was quite fun. Yeah. Um, you know, lady pulls up in this this crazy old uh this crazy old truck, you know. And I was like, oh my goodness, is she gonna have the 2800? <laughs> and she has the 2800. And then it, she says, I wonder if she'd be interested in this. She pulls out a arcade centipede board, the real centipede arcade board that oh, would wow. be inside of a centipede. And it's like, yeah. yeah, my my boyfriend wanted to know if you'd be interested in this. She pulls out like an old Atari centipede. It was amazing. I was like, I almost wanted to say yes, but I don't have an you know an arcade to plug that into. But no, nah. it's a very cool experience. It was a surprise, you know. It's like, and um, did they throw in six hundred? Yes, yes, yes. She also had a Vader. I originally contacted her because I saw the Vader. I wanted an all black Atari. They call it a Vader, and she had a Vader and the twenty eight hundred. So I bought both of them. Um, and then she had another, she had a Woody 2600 that she threw in for free. So I got three Ataris, um, a cartridge, about five joysticks and all that for 80 bucks. Well, you know why she threw the 2600 in? Cause I, cause I, I heard in the background say, Hey, give this free Atari 2600 to uh team McCluskey. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and look, if you need one, just, yeah. Just get, after the show, give me your address. I'll send you one for free. I got some of the I got them coming out of my ears. I'll send you one. I got way too many of them now. <laughs> and I can't believe she just threw that in. It's like, damn. Yeah, she just threw it in. She's like, yeah, just take it all. I was like, okay. You know. But they were they were like, like, you know, you know when you get stuff that's old, but I mean it's not necessarily in bad shape, but it's just it's like I had to like it took me like a full day. I went through them all and cleaned them, you know. I did basically restore them back to glory days. You know what I mean? I got yeah. all the dust off of them, all the, all, all the years of not really um, carefully keeping them, you know? Yeah, but, be so. I mean, Hans said, sure, it was not her ex boyfriend was getting back at him. <laughs> Here's I all the stuff. So. I don't think she said, she literally said, yeah, I have the video on my channel. You can watch a video, but in her own words, her boyfriend was, uh, it was, these are the these are the old games. Oh, these yeah, were, he's in the, the Atari was too old for yeah. her boyfriend. He's in the Nintendo, wasn't he? Yeah, like he that. was into the. He likes the NES more. Yeah. Um. 
She was a she was a character, man. She was the woman that I bought from was a character. She's like, I got a younger boyfriend. I got a younger boyfriend. Like, oh, good for you. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> oh, Thanks for sharing. She actually said that to you. That's funny. Yeah, she said that to me. It was a trip, man. It was crazy. She just wanted to know. She's still hot. Still hot. Is younger it? guy still yeah, she's she's a, attractive. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's she's like, I'm a cougar, you know? <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thanks for the info. Thanks for the info. But <laughs> uh yeah, it was it was cool. It was a fun, it was an adventure. I always like adventures. How far did you have to meet? Or did you have to go? Uh, it's about an hour drive. wasn't that bad. wasn't that, that bad. Yeah. wasn't that bad. That bad. And I met at Second and Charles, which was a cool place to hang out anyway. So after yeah, it was, it was done, cool I went, took us, took us did a little there. shopping. You know, you never know what you're going to see in that place because uh, they buy all used stuff. Yeah, and I, they must sell a ton of stuff because I go in and there's all different stuff in there. You know, that they, they they go through a lot of. I think they buy and sell a lot. You know. But that place is huge, man. It like, is massive. I mean, you're going through that place. Just, was, I, when, you know, before you went in, I'm thinking that's small, you know, and then you yeah, go in no, there. And, it's, Holy crap, that place is huge. It is huge, man. It's they, they, they got the stuff too, man. They got some stuff. Yep. You know, that's the kind of place you don't go looking for a specific thing necessarily because you never know what you're going to get. Old school says, I'd love to have an Atari again just to play Plaque Attack. Plaque Attack is awesome. Yeah, all those uh, Funko I'm Pops. Still, they had. Uh, yeah, they have an insane amount of Funko Pops. Still on the search for a hero cartridge. That's what I think my Activision games, I'm only missing two games. Double Dragon, which is not great, but I don't have it. And Hero, which is fantastic. But I haven't been able to find a copy, you know? Yeah. I don't want to pay a collector price for it. I'd rather pay, you know, just a regular price. Yours Revenge is a great one, Bozo Calvin Jr. Yeah, I love that game. Yeah. I played a lot of hours on this. A lot of hours on that one. Yours actually, Revenge. what I did, like I've been I've been really getting back into playing Atari. I actually just made a little box, a little collection I keep out. <coughs> These are my favorites. These are my favorites. And what you're going to find with the tar, it's funny, like some of the most pot, like, you know, I got, let's see what I got in here. Of course, Combat, Maze Craze, Space Invaders, Circus Atari, Dig Dug, Mario Brothers, Stargate, Kool-Aid Man, Turmoil, Yars Revenge, Galaxian Joust, Pac-Man, Phoenix, sure. Pac-Man Jr., Pole Position, Miss Pac-Man, Millipede, Missile Command, Asteroids, Battle Zone, Berserk with Speech. Um, Qbert, Demon Attack, Jungle Hunt, Star Wars Strategic Commander, Kaboom. These are all probably paddle games. Kaboom, Boom. Warlords, Mega Mania, Worm War, and Basketball. So those are the ones I all kept out. Like, like these are great. Frostbite, Fishing Derby. I don't know if I said those. These are great, man. I love these games. So actually, I'm not even putting these back in the uh I have actually little bins that slide out to keep my cartridges. I'm just leaving these out now by the Atari 2800, but I've been really enjoying going back and playing a bunch of these old uh, 2600 cards. Tron deadly disc pole position. Absolutely. Nice. Try one more thing here. Not working either. I end up crashing my stream. Oh, shit. Damn it. I um, can't use that. Excellent clues. Try to get that damn video to work, man. Does it play on your computer? Nope. It's not That's just black. Like you said, it's black like the other one was. Yeah, you can hear it, but you can't. Now I was gonna do, use my um, editing software to see if I play on that, but on this laptop, it's expired, and I don't oh. know my license. I don't know my license number. It's all all that stuff's at home. Oh yeah, 
Yeah. I'm trying to load it up on my YouTube channel right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do that. Do that. Is it, is it longer than 10 minutes? It shouldn't take that long. Yeah, it's five minutes and 40 seconds. Yeah. It shouldn't take that long. Just load it to your YouTube channel. We'll play it off of there. If it works, it's weird. That it's not working on my computer. Just What's happening, Carlo? We've been talking about all kinds of stuff. I arcade, Atari. It was awesome. Arcade one up. PS2 games that we like. What the Carlo? Show my uh, top 10 PS2 games in three minutes. What's that shirt say over there you got up there? Oh, my shirt, Steps, Steps Do. The Steps Gaming. It's a little support for Steps. Just reached a thousand subscribers. Been a co-host on my show, The Arcadians, a bunch of times. I'm um, just showing a little support tonight for Steps. She's been doing a lot of cool uh, live gaming streams. She's been doing some tournaments. She always does those. Um, you know, I mean, why wouldn't you want a neon green Steps Do shirt? She used to do this thing, Steps Gaming. Used to do this thing where she would drink Mountain Dew, and she made all these shorts. <laughs> of her drinking Mountain Dew. So, uh, you know. Makes sense. I had to, I had to support. Yeah, Steps do, man. It's probably a collectible yeah. now. You know. <laughs> it's neon green. I mean, how cool is that? It is. The shirt is the bomb. Just Steps like Mountain Dew, you know. Carlos says, you I have been dealing with. Broke down. What broke down on you? RV. Oh. I should just read it up here. That sucks, Carlo. What happened to your RV, man? Man, always something that sucks. Go man. back, man. Vehicles are never freaking cheap. No, no. It's, uh, you know, it's always something, too, with vehicles. Oh, oh, oh. Got a picture. I got a picture on my YouTube channel of my stuff. So why wouldn't they play on my computer? It's so freaking weird, dude. I have no idea. See if we'll play on YouTube. Upload it to your channel and then play it from there. See if we'll play yet. Sucks when you have one screen too. Yeah, you have a two screen setup. At I home. wish I had that. I have a one screen setup. It's a little complicated. You're doing At, stream you doing and stuff. I used to have three, man. Three screens. Wow. Yeah. One burned out because it, it was cool because I would it's have lux. I would have my video sharing screen on one one side and I would have uh wow when I used to play games and stuff like PS4 on the front and then I would have my uh stream yards or OBS okay. third screen. It was really nice, but my uh, third screen burned out. Yeah, a lot of people swear that um, editing videos is way easier with two screens. I've heard yeah. that that's really good. It makes it a lot easier. Let's see if this thing plays. Okay, it plays. Okay. Let's see if I can get this thing to go. Share screen. Oh, there it is. All right. There it is. Good. Oh, you guys can't see it. Yep. Allow. Can you see it? Yep. Okay, there it is. There we go. That'll work. Make it uh, full screen, then play it, and we're good to go. Okay. Full screen. <laughs> Years on the East Coast. It's time to go home. Welcome to Los Santos Airport. Sup? Call the sweet. Sup, sweet? What you want? This mama. She's dead, bro. Yo, this is the
Is this Call of Duty? Yep. Call of Duty, the OG. Oh, yeah, that's where it all started. Fall of 2004. Wait. This game has not yet been rated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There it is. Oh, yeah. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, boy, oh, boy. Oh, boy. It's the offspring. Yep. Crazy Taxi. Yep. Yep. As good as this game was, I still liked it better on the Dreamcast. Really? Yeah. Have you ever played this on the Dreamcast? It's like buttery smooth. Yep. This is what a copyrights uh, claim looks like. <laughs> This, this claims every time. But it's great. It's a great game. Such a fun game. Yep. Who can't have fun in that game? Yeah. Horse. Hey. Number two. The Star Battle. Wars Battlefront. Star Wars Battlefront. I remember oh, playing yeah. this on my dad's PC, too. Yeah. Old school 74 knows. Hell yeah! The Dreamcast version is the best. Dreamcast had Crazy Taxi and Crazy Taxi 2. Those games were must-haves on Dreamcast. I'm a massive Dreamcast fan. Played epic multiplayer. Conquer 10 Legendary. Yeah. Worlds. Dude, I've never Wait. played my PS2 online. You could play your PS2 online? I never did. Yeah. I never I had mine too. connected online. Came out in 2004, too. Dang. 2004. There it is, guys. Grand Theft Auto Vice City? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, my number one. I mean, what can I say, you know? Look. I mean, own a physical copy. Oh, yeah. Look at this. I mean, look at all the stuff. I mean, look, tell me if this don't bring you back. Just the music, too, man. Yep. Dude, I still got my map. That came out October of 2002. Wow. Dude, I got the map. So there you go, guys. There's my top five. Vice City. Oh, you actually got the map. I don't yeah, think I look, have look, I got the map. I got it all, man. That's awesome, man. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Got the poster. You know, maybe I do have that. I have to, go, I have to look. I haven't looked at my copy in so long. I'm not look sure if that. I still have it or not. Look at that, man. I got all this cool, stuff. Man. What else I got in here? 
Remember when they used to give you stuff when you bought a game? I mean, the, the last game I bought, all you got was a disc. It's like it was so, so bare bones. Look at the cool book. Look, you got a booklet, full color. Yeah. Looks like Kong's selling this at games pin. Oh, really? Kong or a beast selling his at games pinball, huh? Hobby Hand says. Radio station 32 bit arcade says. Radio stations on Vice City were awesome. Yeah, they yes, were. they were. They were awesome. Yeah, they man. were. Yeah, they were. And you guys like Miami Vice back in the day? I love Miami Vice. Yeah, I need to get my uh, camera's autofocus back turned on. But Sam know, Sam says great. Tony Hawk's Underground 2. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a really good one, Sam Sam. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tony Hawk Pro Skater. Yeah, the, uh, Vice City has a special spot for me, man, because uh, me and my son, when he was little, multiple. we played on um, Vice City a lot. Me and my son was jamming with Vice City. Yeah. Vice we City actually is, got through the whole thing, me and Vice him. Vice City is the stuff, man. Like, missions he couldn't complete, I would complete them for him. So we actually got through the whole, the whole um, you know, Vice City, which was really fun. Because some of those missions are kind of hard. In Vice City. Yeah, yeah, they are. And San Andreas, man, they even got harder. Great, great series. Some people said they're coming out the six, huh? Have you heard anything about six? I'm sure. I'm sure. Speaking of At Games Pinball, not to change it back to home arcade again. My um, At Games Pinball, the uh, the controller broke. I got I got this joystick controller. Um, that that goes to replace the, the stock controls, and it, it broke. Really? So basically, I can't move my cursor around. Yeah. You still got your stock? Can you put the stock back on there? I, you know what? I was like, when I got the new one, I was like, oh, I will never ever go back no. to this. And you no, know what? Dumb, you, you never believe my dumb self did. No. I you threw didn't. it away. No. I literally said, man, I hate the stock controls. No. I threw it away. I could have just popped that in and been back. I could have kept on trucking because you I threw, threw it away. Because you Dude, never know if something breaks. I'm such a pack rat as it is. I'm such a hoarder as it is. I like. I hear you. But yeah, you know, I really should have kept it. Like now, good. it's like, like one of those things. Me. Yeah, after the <laughs> fact, I was like, oh, I, I, you know, I still I signed it up, ordering another one, two hundred and twenty bucks for just the controls, so I can, can you operate you? it again. You probably don't want to find a used one. No, no, because I I heard they didn't. I did. I heard they did a running change on them anyway to make them better and more reliable. So, I really yeah. Um, That's but you know, good. yeah, might have to unsub for you doing that. I know, hobby hands. What was I, know, right? I thinking? Okay. Do it, man. What was I thinking, <laughs> man. I love yeah. my at games pinball. Like, it's funny. Like, you don't realize how much you like something until it's broken. Too. Like, yep. Oh, you know, know, it's like, you know, I got so used to playing it and I, I play it. And then, then, um, I have my grandkids over and it just stopped working. It was like, oh, yeah, I think me. I have all my original arcade one up stuff, like yeah. joysticks and all that. I don't, I don't throw anything away just in case, but anyway. learn your lesson, learn your lesson. Yeah, I learned my lesson. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to be happy when I get it back up and running. Carl asks, is uh, support helping you? I have to check my email. Like I didn't check today, Carlo. They might have they might have messaged. I haven't got a message back yet. I'll check today and see if they message me back. But um the same thing happened to my friend Brooklyn Menace, and it ended up he just had to replace the controls and then everything worked perfectly again. Oh, it happened to Brooklyn too, huh? Yeah, exact same problem. Um his his is a little different, like like uh, his controls went dead and then they would come back on and die real quick. Mine, um, sometimes they will actually connect, but then the cursor's like moving to the left. And then, um, oh, Carlo had a basic panel. I wish I would have known Carlo. I might have waited on ordering the joystick till they go on sale. That's one of the great things. That game's always does these sales where they have good discounts, but you know. I'm off. It's the summer for me. So like now's the time I can play these machines. So like, that's why I just ordered, but thank you, Carlo. That's very nice of you. 
it breaks again. I might, I might, might have to let get one from you. <laughs> I hope it doesn't. Yeah. But I've gotten a lot of use out. I looked back, I think I got it like two and a half years ago or something. Like I've got a lot of play out of it without pretty much no problems. So, I mean, it gets played a lot. So, That's what and, uh, as much as I play it, like you realize how, like, I have Nix is on the top. Um, they have these contests each each um week for pinball games. And he's just killing it, man. He's like in the top couple players. Wow. You know? Wow, wow, wow. I know. It's like the guy has the gift for video games. When's when's that game's come out with their 4K pinball, man? I'm ready. I know. It's like, you know. Ready, but I still want to get this one fixed no matter what, because I have I have every table on it. I bought every table that they offer for the At Games Pinball. Wow. So I mean I can play all the tables that they make. The cool thing with the new one, you could transfer all of those over. Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, they said that. The one thing they said we, that, okay. When we covered it, was it two weeks ago we covered that? Awesome. It says awesome. right on there. You, even if you buy their handheld, you know they're coming out uh, with the new handheld. Okay. It all transfers over. Transfers all devices. Hey, what's up, Rich Odello? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Rich? Welcome, welcome, man. You know, I'm surprised. Did you have God of War in your favorites? Mine, no. God of War never really hitches like a top uh, title on PlayStation. I've never played it. You've never played it. Not to this day, man. Dude, to this day. You're missing out. God of War is so good. Um, you know, I mean, I guess like you know, it's it's funny, but like, you know, you almost have to go for some of those big franchises because they were so good, you know. You have God of War. I picked what were the three I picked? God of War, Devil May Cry, and Resident Evil. Yeah. I mean, those are those are pretty good. And then GTA, you had dude. I loved Twisted Metal Black, but I had to give it to Gran Turismo. Because Gran Turismo was such a, it was so far ahead of its time when it came out, you know, just a really great racing game, you know. Yeah. Um, if they're going back to the PlayStation Two, and what really blew me away on that machine when it came out, pretty next level. Yeah, you know, it's amazing some of the games on the PS2 and that they still hold up to this day. I know Twisted Metal series was so good. I'm surprised they haven't done a modern. Oh, I'm surprised. Why have they not made a modern Twisted Metal game? Twisted Metal uh, games were fun. You they know, were vehicle pretty combat popular. games. Remember? Yeah, they were good. And then, and people, everybody played well, I had to put it on an honorable mention on my list. Twisted Metal Black, man. People missed our stream the other day. They are coming out with the new Operation Wolf. They pushed it back. Now, it was going to be for VR. It was going to be, would I say, the last? It was going to be around the 23rd of June. Uh, for VR for the new Operation Wolf, but now it's going to be July 13th. And it's coming to all c- coming to all platforms. VR, PS4, PS5, Wii, Xbox, PC. It's coming to all platforms for Operation Wolf, the new version. Yeah. So it'll be no, number four, right? Yeah, number four, I do believe. Operation Wolf 4. Richel Dello says uh, Splashdown on PS2. Has this killer soundtrack. He says he still plays it. What's everybody's number one PS2 game? Yeah, put it in the chat. We'll read it. We'll read off some of your favorites. Of course, I had to put uh, Metal Gear Solid as as a category too, because they had a bunch of good Metal Gear Solid games on the PS2, though. They had Snake Eater, right? Yeah, I think so. Think so, think so. You never played the Resident Evil games on the PS2? No. Resident Evil 4? Nope. Now, you know, I had Resident Evil 4 on the GameCube too, and the GameCube version I felt like was a little bit better. But if I'm gonna pick a Resident Evil game, still Resident Evil 4 to me is uh one of the tops. I like the old ones too. Remember the old Resident Evil games where you have to move like a tank? That's PlayStation One, though. More, you know, your little character like they turn, you know, it's like <laughs> they go straight, you know. It's like oh, I gotta go over here, and they turn like this, and they go that way. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
it's like your your character controls like a tank. It doesn't control like. Uh, but those 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 Resident Evil games what was it one and two? Those are fun, and uh, Nemesis three, right? Steps Gaming said, "Final Fantasy X is the best." Final Fantasy, another franchise that was really great on the PlayStation. Ico, yep. Dude, that's what I'm saying. Literally yeah. 30 games. Shadow of the Colossus. Yeah, you know? Either San Andreas or Final Fantasy. So there's another yeah. San Andreas and Final Fantasy from 32-bit. Ico was so good. I don't remember that one. Yeah, it's great, man. Resident Evil codenamed Veronica. Now, I had Resident Evil codenamed Veronica on the Dreamcast. Dreamcast was so good. Like, if anything came on the Dreamcast, it was usually better than what it was on the PS2. But I didn't know that. Back in the day, I was not a Dreamcast fanboy. I would have been the PS2 fanboy. But now, knowing what I know now, having both, having played both, um, the Dreamcast was fantastic. It just was... Yeah, I never never played it. You know? SSX, that's a great game. The snowboarding game. Yeah, Shadow of the Colossus was a was great follow-up from Eco. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, to me, that game was revolutionary. It was just like gigantic, epic boss battles nonstop. Metal Gear Solid made my list. Yep. You play my video again, the three-minute one? I dropped it on my channel if you don't want to play it as a... Uh, you can play it off my channel. It should be up now. It should be the latest video. No, nah, I mean, yours played really good, man. Right through the freaking... Uh... I play fine through StreamYard. It looked choppy, but it might have been just because we were watching it inside StreamYard. You know, sometimes when, sometimes when we play videos, if you if you're uh, do YouTube, sometimes a video will look choppy and weird when you're watching it in your own StreamYard, but it comes out fine over the stream. SSX tricky. Okay. Yeah, it might be fine then. It was just met probably mine because I'm inside the stream. Hello, gamers. This is Papa Brad. I'm going to tell you my top 10 PS2 games. These are my top 10 in, in two three and a half minutes. minutes. Two and a half Let's minutes. Let's get it started. Two and a half minutes. Start with three of my favorite fighters Soul, Soul Calibur 3, DOA 2 Hardcore. DOA. I mean, it's got Kasumi in it. What more do I need to say? And of course, Tekken 5. I think these are three of the best fighters on the PS2. Then we're gonna go to the Devil May Cry series. Just basically two games that have to be in this would be Devil May Cry and Devil May Cry 3 Special Edition. And some of these are just, they're really big series, so I'm just gonna put the series. Honorable mention to Twisted Metal Black. But as a racing game, I have to go with Gran Turismo as my main pick. For this console's generation, Gran Turismo was a standard by which racing games were rated. And then of course, if we're talking PS2, no games are greater than the Grand Theft Auto series, Grand Theft Auto 3, Grand Theft Auto Vice City, and of course, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. And the Grand Theft Auto trilogy is must play PS2. My favorite metal uh, Gear Solid game in the PS2 era was Sons of Liberty. And then, of course, Resident Evil 4. Arguably my, one of the best Resident Evil games. Shadow of the Colossus. What an amazing game. Yes. Giant monsters. There Count me in. The very top of the, all of the PlayStation games is the God, God of War series. Of War. This is why you have a PlayStation. The is ours. These are my top 10 picks for PS2 games. Thank you and stay legit. There you go. Two and a half minutes, my top 10. Two and a half minutes, not even three minutes. I knew I did it short. Two and a half minutes. Yep, you did it real short. Shorter than me with my five. But Carl O says PS3. Now I'd have to I'd have to agree with Carl O. PS3 is amazingly cheap to collect for, has amazing games, 
and the PS3 had amazing downloads. Like I have Marvel vs. Capcom 2 on the PS3 that you download, and it was fantastic. And like it plays it plays better than my cabinet. My arcade went up cabinet. <laughs> my PS3 version plays better. But you know, <laughs> it is what it is, you know. PS3 is, you know, and that's where we're getting at. Like PS2 is a dead system. PS3 is a dead system, but does it make the games any less great? No, it does not. Not at all. I mean, the games, if it was a great game back then, for the most part, you're still going to enjoy it when you go back and play it. You know? Another good series was uh, Splinter Cell. Yeah, Splinter Cell was popular. I remember Spl- Now, Splinter Cell went to the Xbox, though, too. They had versions. Yeah. Because I remember playing yeah. on the, the original Xbox. That was, was uh, you know, that was an Ubisoft yeah. game, too. The original Xbox was a hacker's dream. I mean... It, my Xboxes, they were all hacked. They had mod chips. You could do all kind of stuff. You could play MAME on the Xbox. Once you crazy. once you hacked crazy. it and unlocked it, man, the Xbox, the original one, was a really good, powerful system. Um, you could you could you know. I remember going to Blockbuster and renting a game and copying it to the machine because you could do that. You could just put the disc in there and copy it. The, the hackers had gotten so good with that system. Rainwater says I have a modded Xbox with a bunch of Nintendo games on it. So do I. It was <laughs> great. They had um, they had entire groups of hackers that were uh doing that Make stuff. Make criminal. Oh no. Yeah. 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 Call the cops. Rainwaters. Yeah. <laughs> Call yeah. the cops on Rainwaters. Yeah. He's a hacker. And then the hackers. I remember like it was all mod chips. Then the hackers got into the Xbox 360. Yep. And guess what happened, T? Guess what happened? What to you? I have to come clean. Guess what happened? They oh, recognized got- my mod chip in my got- PA, in my uh that ended my modding um as far as having chips in the systems. Uh that was the Xbox 360. And I had bought a bunch of games. They had this Xbox Live Arcade. And I had bought a bunch of games, and all those games then I couldn't play. Oh, it man. really angered me because I was like, I bought <laughs> like your pu- now you're punishing me from playing the games that I paid for. You know, because your my uh, whatever your serial number of the machine gets banned is how they did it, and uh, that sucked. So, I wish they would do that with hackers with uh, using these uh, aim aim bots for uh, games like Call of Duty and Apex and all that. But Those really, in games. retrospect, looking back at it, they really shot themselves in the foot because what happened was I stopped buying all Xbox games then. Like when I, I got so angry when they did that, I just literally stopped buying anything for Xbox and I started getting into PlayStation. So that was help. probably like, although it, it, they took a strong stance on piracy, it probably ended up hurting them because everything else from then on out, I just bought on a different system. I mean, yeah, I, I hate I to say tried. it, you know, I mean, I never but, try to support Microsoft. That's the truth. Yeah. I don't like Microsoft. Never have. Never have liked Microsoft. You know. They try to kill the competition always. Yeah. Always trying to kill the competition. Yeah. I said, I refuse you, Bill Gates. No yeah. to you. Yeah. That was one of the things that Act Games really did right. I mean, they decided not to like try to fight people and em- using emulation on their machines, you know. Ritual Dello Brad, I spoofed my Mac address, stopped Xbox from banning me. Also, I used a VPN. Yeah, I didn't know how to do all that yeah. stuff, but yeah, if I yeah. would have, you know, it might have helped. But you know, once again, sometimes that stuff it, it doesn't really, it really just hurt them because then I didn't buy anything from them anymore, and I bought a bunch of games. So from that point on, then I went to the. Uh, I went to the um, PS3, and bought a bunch of games on their store. You know, if I think about it, really, I've had a history of buying a lot of games on video game machine stores. I bought a bunch of games on the iArcade store. I have them all. I have the entire iArcade library. But I do like buying games digitally 
and having them just play on my machine. You know, I don't think it really bothers me. I don't have to store them then, you know, there's certain advantages. Yeah. How about you? Are you, are you a proponent of having physical copies of everything? I like physical copies just for the collection part of it that you can actually sell. Yeah. Your physical copy and make a little bit of money back. Digital ones, you really can't do that. I agree on the retro stuff. Like you're talking like uh, Sega when you're talking about Atari, Nintendo, the stuff that was cartridges. I can see that, you know, but once they went to discs, you know, and have you heard of something called disc rot? Do discs actually go bad just from sitting? Like like I, disc games? Is there such a thing as disc rot? I think CDs do, but DVDs do not. CDs can do that, but DVDs do not. Interesting. Why, hey, Gregory, why, what's happening? Welcome to the that's stream. Why, that's why everybody went to DVDs. Okay. Okay. Less scratch, you know, less scratchable. And I've never heard of a DVD go out, but. Okay. CDs can. I've had ones go bad. I think CDs too, man, can just yeah, it, it just like the stuff off of it just poof disappears. Yeah. But yeah, but you know, like I had we had all these Mario games when my son was young on the Wii. I made uh, some money off those suckers. I mean, I didn't make all my money back, but some of them I made my money back completely, and then some uh, of them I actually made you know almost like. All of it back, or you know, like fifty percent of it. Mario games, man, are really collectible. Even yeah, for the Wii. yeah. Anything Mario, man, can you can make some of your money back, or at least fifty percent of it. I was shocked when I was selling those games. Like, oh my gosh, like you know, I put a price on it. Like nobody ever buy that. I'm like, oh my yeah. gosh, they bought it. Yeah, yeah. I like, wow. I think Sonic's that way too. Sonic it's games like are funny when you sell stuff and then like down the road it becomes more valuable than you thought it was. Sometimes you know. Like that happens all the time, you know. I had, for me, I, I was a huge comic book collector, you know. And as Mini a kid, discs. I learned I learned to read by reading comic books. It was one of the ways I helped to learn, helped me to learn to read. And so, like, um, I had all the like, the good X Men comics that were valuable. I had a bunch of great comics from the, the time when I was a kid, you know. Yeah. But I collected most of them back, but. Certain ones I never got back. But you know, it was a huge comic collector is Richard De- Dello. He has the best collection I've ever seen. It's amazing. He's got the real deal, like the the super collectible comics. So oh, nice. Yeah, he's got an amazing collection of books. Just incredible. I could add some good ones from my dad, man, but mm. my mom threw them all away. I think his comic books were like 40s, 50s. Rainwater. I never did learn how to read to this day. So I have no clue how to read or write the English language. In fact, I don't even know where I'm typing at this very moment. <laughs> he says it's just gibberish. It's just gibberish, Rainwater. Gibberish, gibberish. I'm just interpreting what you're uh, yeah. typing. <laughs> Rainwater is very literate. He's very literate. 32-bit arcade says nothing beats a physical copy. I'm slowly building up a retro collection and getting a load of Super Nintendo and Sega Mega Drive Genesis games. Sega. Awesome 32-bit arcade. Yeah. I don't have my meme board on me right now. Yeah. I mainly collect Atari cartridges, but I can understand why people would collect cartridges. Cartridges are cool. Yeah, somebody had some big collection on uh, e no on uh, Facebook Marketplace near me. They had uh-huh. like a huge uh, Atari collection. Like, Maximo they had, was good. Hundred games. Oh, I should look to see if they had. Uh, you know, hundreds nothing. I should look to see if they had your game though. Yeah, Hero. 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 Yeah. I still want a copy of Hero. If you ever find a copy of Hero by Activision. Yeah, I have to go back and look. So they they had a picture of cool all game. This. Like you're a little guy with like a like a helicopter backpack on. It's a great game. It's just super good. Maximo was a great PS2 game. Gregory says. I don't remember that one. You remember that? Maximo? Yeah, I remember Maximo. Uh-huh. I, that. I had a physical copy of that. Actually, like I said, I had a huge PS2 uh, game collection. Rainwater. 
Rainwater says, soon I will have an egg empire, Carl. I just moved nine new chicks out to a new hen house. Wow. Rainwater with the chickens. Yeah. Tell my wife we need to get some chickens. Uh-huh. She says, hell no. So we can, we can cook them up, man. Not they stop laying eggs, just cook them up. She had, she did not like that idea. No. You gonna get some chickens? Chickens are a lot of work. No, no. no. Sly and, Cooper, and, yeah, that was a good one. Me and my brothers found wild chickens when we were kids out in the woods. Yep, and the Thievius Raccoonus. That's awesome! Fantastic, even fantastic. Caro says, fantastic. I don't care. I'll take just the cartridge. I really just want it to play it. I don't need a physical box or anything. I just want the actual hero cartridge so I can play it in my real Atari. But yeah, if you ever find one, Rich Odello knows me. Um, just just uh, message me and um, you know, I'll I'll pay you to pick it up if you see one in in the wild. They had that game one time at Second and Charles, and I should have just picked it up. I don't know what I was thinking. They wanted a good bit for it there. Um. Because they, they, they check prices on everything, but I should have just got it in, in retrospect. But all Activision games that are Atari games get this stuff called Actiplac because they used a, a type of glue that it messes up the uh, decals. Which Odello says I that's got you. normal. That's normal. Like I they all you, look like that. Oh, thank you. Thank you. He's a huge collector. Yeah, I guess they're going thrifted, man. I know, like thrifting. You guys, go thrifting. Thrifting's where it's at. No. Oh. I keep telling cool my wife stuff. that. She's like, let's go, and then weekend comes, and I forget about it. I mean, they have those whole YouTube channels where all they do is look for retro games. Like, yeah. how many games? And they go to all the flea markets and stuff. Pretty cool. I like watching that stuff. Gregory says Ridge Racer 4 was another great PS2 for game. For sure. For sure. Oh, I didn't realize they made four. So I'm saying the PS2 library, when you look at it, it was just like it's unbelievable, like how many good games they had. I could have pulled how out, like, deep, how big that library actually is. I mean, they, they must have over a thousand games for PS4. I mean, PS2, I mean, I'm sorry, PS2, I'm talking even PS2 must have over a thousand games that they released for that console. I gotta pull out my CDs, see what games I have. I don't even know what I have anymore. You know, there was a lot of there were a lot of crappy games too, but I mean there were a lot of good ones. So, there were a lot of there were a lot of good ones. Um, when you go back and you look at the library, yeah, I got to look to see what kind of library I have. I have quite a few. I don't remember what I have anymore. I know I have the all three GTAs. Rainwater never had a PS2. Did I was given my PS2? Yeah. Did you play Mash. Atari game. I had I had I had the PS2 and I had the Sony Wega TV. Now this TV T, when I tell you it was 300 pounds, I'm telling you it was unbelievable. Uh, yeah, it was big tubes. It was a gigantic tube TV, and it must have weighed like 300 pounds. It was absolutely ridiculous. Wish I had it still, honestly. That would have to go for some money if it's working because it was, I mean, I can't imagine there are that many of those left. I think Toad Jam and Earl, was that that size of a stove? Where are you going to put something like that? Jack and Daxter. Was it Daxter or Dexter? I have the Atari MASH game. I have it. I have the MASH game, Hobby Hands. I have the physical cartridge. Uh, Toad Jam, to Jam and Earl is Genesis. Simpsons Hit and Run was another great game. Yeah, it's a fun game. I even played that game. For Hobby Hands. MASH. I'll focus. I need to get my focus. This is the game. It's right there. Get 
fix the focus on my camera. It's fucking focuses in your face. <laughs> yeah, it's not. It's not. I gotta set. There's a, there's some kind of setting you have to set on the camera. Yeah. I bought a good camera, but it's like it's so it's so good that it's like actually like you know there's so much to it that a lot of times I don't know what I'm doing. You know, it's just it's so complicated. If you I put a Sony face, camera, would it focus if you put it in front of your face. Maybe I don't know. Zoom in. No. No, I don't know. Oh. I'll have to look at it. Dexter and Jack. Like you almost need a class to learn how to operate the camera. It has so many functions. But Just got to put it on auto. Autopilot. Man, yeah. I, I can't believe this show came out as good as it did with you. us going remote. Remote, remote out of a hotel room. Look, behind me, another one. the element. I mean, on the road. Got some beautiful art on the walls. <laughs> See that? Some priceless art. <laughs> Dude, I don't have G.I. Joe Cobra Strike. That's one I haven't found yet. G.I. Joe Cobra Strike. Remember those? Dude, yeah. um, I'm old. I found I found some videos of the G.I. Joes I had yeah, when yeah. I was a kid. They're they're not uh they're not like when people say G.I. Joes, they think of them little plastic like Star Wars looking figures. Yeah. Them small ones. I mean, we had the big oh. ones that were like full size. They had yeah. kung fu grip. The hands wow. were like the hands were always like this. No matter what they did, their hands were curved like this, you know, with a trigger finger so they could hold a gun. No, they're the hand. They're the, one hand was, they called it the Kung Fu grip. You remember G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip? Yep. Dude, I found some videos on that stuff. And man, you talk about, I love nostalgia. That's one thing about me. I love nostalgia. And man, those videos just brought me back to when I was a kid playing in the dirt, playing in the sandbox. You know, we had the vehicles, man. We just tore that stuff up. We were playing with it outside. Yeah, Our we GI Joes were having crazy adventures, you know. Slide them down ropes with them little rubber hands till the fingers burned off. You know, GI Joes were GI Joes were the stuff. We all love GI Joes. Using firecrackers to blow stuff up. Rainwater says my 20 screens is going to give him a seizure. I, I I wish I had a couple more screens in my background. I, I just I need some more screens. You can just add them to your cabinet specter. You got I know. Two, that's what I need to do. Two, two, four. I need to do. I need to. I need to do. I need to do some more screen mods. Action Jackson was my guy. You saw an arcade one up creep back into my background. My uh, big blue. I was playing playing some games on big blue. Put it back in my background. Nice. Rotated Star Wars back to the. The other arcade. Uh, Star Wars isn't back there anymore. Dude. Yeah, I have two rooms. I have two rooms. I moved my Star Wars back to the the main arcade. Oh yeah, I noticed, but, um, just noticed that. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow, dude, man, there there are some killers in the water when you play on a arcade one up. Man, there's some killers. There's some sharks in those waters when you play online on the arcade one up Street Fighter. People that play are real good. Yeah, Carl Weathers. Mm -hmm. 32 bits said we really didn't have G.I. Joe in the UK. Yeah. That Action Man. Action. Yeah, Action Man. I saw that. I saw that. You, you know, it's funny. Like, like I see these. And then you fall into like a rabbit hole. Like, I'm watching all these G.I. Joe collector videos. These people have entire rooms of their house with like everything ever G.I. Joe from the 70s. It's amazing the collections people have. But it's cool with uh with YouTube, you you know, that you can get to see all this stuff, you know. And the hair would fall off if they got wet. Yeah. Yeah. It took they too got many wet. <laughs> Dude, I had Here's all kind of G.I. Joe stuff. Man, I had the helicopter. And this is these were big. I mean, these were like Barbie size. You know, they were like they were big. They were like twelve inches in size. And um they had a bunch man? of vehicles. Stretch man too. Stretch Armstrong. Remember Stretch, yeah. Yeah, Stretch Armstrong. Dude, I had the green one. It's like a monster. It's like a real collectible, too. It was like, man, it was it crazy. Really? It was like a green monster, but it, it was part of the Stretch Armstrong family of toys. Um, yeah, that was pretty cool. 
after a while though, yeah. man, they stretched. They went. Dude, they we used to have, we used to, we used to have army army war army men wars. Ritual Dallas talking about. He said he had a ton of army army men had hundreds yeah, buy big bags at a time. We used to have army man wars. We used to use firecrackers, build yeah. uh build models of tanks like World War II tanks and fill them up full of firecrackers and blow them up. I mean, we were crazy. We were we were destructive when I was a kid. But it was fun, you know. Stuff was fun. Yeah, all, all of our stuff did not make it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our, our, our toys that I had had a hard life when I was when I was that age when I was playing with them. Yeah, we played. We played with ours, man. They didn't sit on the shelf. We played with them. They burn real good. Real good. <laughs> real good. And oh. Keep blowing up good. Keep blowing up. All right. Real good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that part a lot. Yeah. I like that part a lot. I like that part. They blew up real good. Real good. John Candy. That, he was awesome. Yeah. R.I.P. I don't think there's anything I didn't like. He did. <laughs> Rainwater says Brad was that kid from Toy Story. I kind of was. Yeah, man, we were we were rough. My my, my one brother, man, he fell down a cliff. Man, did he get hurt? I mean, a steep cliff. Yeah. Steep. <laughs> yeah, we're up there burying them. We're just <laughs> we're playing like the death song and stuff, throwing leaves down yeah. on them. Oh no! <laughs> we thought he was just joking, but yeah, he, he was all right. We, we had like a bunch of uh, soft clay down uh, by the um, down by the creek, so he uh, landed on that soft clay. But he fell a long ways. Oh man! It's like oh, At least shit. he wasn't hurt. The uh, rope we were uh, you know climbing down the rope, and it broke. When that didn't break, we tied it off to this little tree. <laughs> the tree was probably about that big. Yeah, the tree was not made to support weight. <laughs> like a little twig what do you know though you know you kid you don't think about stuff like that uh, the rich came like, out yeah uh, we were rough on each other I me mean, we used to roll each other up in a blanket and uh, we had bunk beds we'd push people uh -huh. each other off the top of the bunk beds uh -huh. around make a thump noise my mom dad what are you guys doing in there nothing <laughs> pushing each other off the top bunk Dude. You know, I need to find some stuff on those '70s bikes too, because like the same time when I had those GI Joes, we had these we had these bikes. They're called Stingrays. They're made by Schwinn. Yeah. They had like these crazy banana seats on them. It was before BMX. Seat. Yeah, BMX came and replaced that. It's a cool thing. But I had Huffy. before that, they yeah, Huffy and uh, Schwinn had these crazy uh, That's what I bikes. Had. The Huffy looked like a motorcycle that I remember my friends had. And then uh, I had a Schwinn Stingray, and it had like a had like a, 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 it was cool. I don't know how to explain it. It's something that they don't really make anything like that anymore. It's something out of the seventies. But yeah, they only make um, uh, remakes of those because you know some of the seventy bikes came back, but those have not yet. Those have not like the stingray. Uh, Gregory says I can hear those kabongers hitting each other. What are kabongers? I'm not sure what kabongers are. Did you have the shifter? Uh, my friend did. I didn't. But yeah. My, like one of my friends had yeah, the those. stick shift. Yeah. And those are yeah. cool. I forgot about those. Yeah, they were cool. They were awesome. Man, I remember I had this thing. They would never sell this today. This was so unsafe. It was like a grip that you'd put on the grip, but you'd rotate it like this. and It would make a yeah. motorcycle sound. Yep. So yeah. like the thing you're putting your hands on to control it rotates. Like how safe is that? That had to be like the most dangerous and bad idea ever because it would rotate. Yeah. You know, you'd, go to, you'd be driving, on, you'd be riding your bike down the street, cranking the thing up, and be making motorcycle noises. Now yeah. the hands, big wheel. Yep, I had a big wheel. With that, we would put the playing cards in our spokes so it make noise. But you know, yeah, it didn't, wasn't there a serial that nowadays didn't... kids just play video games and tablets? Like, yeah. like I, if I try to explain that to. My grandson, he would think I was crazy. He's like, yeah, started, you did what? You put playing cards. Why would you do that? It's like, I don't know. It's what we did, you know? I mean, dude. Old school, I wanted those uh, star spokes wheels. I love GT them. I BMX bikes were badass, man. I remember GT and Mongoose, man. 
Yeah, mongoose. Um, we moved when my family moved to uh, Pennsylvania. There was a BMX track um, that we could go to, and that was the stuff, man. BMX bikes were huge. GT and Trek. Yeah. I think some of those cereals back then had something you could put in your spokes too. Yeah. So you, you find it in a box. I have some cool stuff. I need to look into that Stingray stuff, the Schwinn Stingray stuff. That stuff was cool. See if I bet you there's some retro stuff for that. Yeah, I bet. Yeah, I forgot about the motorcycle handle that you can put on there. Totally forgot about that motorcycle crank up yeah like road i mean yeah. this has to be the most unsafe thing you could possibly do you the, the part you grab will rotate it was so cool though it was cool they don't make cool stuff like that anymore big wheels with the brake was amazing yeah i broke my we had Dude, we on i had one of those green machines remember those it was like it was, green machines it too, was yeah. like a big wheel but you had this like two levers to steer it it was real low to the ground, so you could do like you do three sixties and one eighties. Yeah, we used to make ramps and jump them too. Yeah, I broke my brake on my big wheel. Cranked that sucker too much. Kellogg's used to have reflectors, which you, and cereal, which you could put on your spokes. Thirty-two yeah. bit eight. I remember those reflectors. I think they had ones too that would click the <clears throat> spokes. Yeah, the too. green machine was next level. The green machine was the color of my shirt. It was like neon green. I remember that. Wasn't that too tone? Wasn't the neon green in like dark green? Yeah, I think it was. They're yeah. cool. I remember. I remember. I remember the commercials. No, no, I wasn't the rich kid. I I hung out with the rich kids. I would I would hang out. My friends had money. I was always the poor kid. Yeah, bikes with the shocks that mimic dirt bikes. Yeah, I remember the shocks. Greg you said he bought his grandson a big wheel recently. <laughs> see, see monkeys. Oh wow, they still make those big wheels. Wow. Yeah, cool. I didn't realize they still made them. Yeah, I think my big wheel was the body was white, the back was blue. Uh -huh. I can't remember what the front wheel was. But a long time ago. <laughs> see monkeys. Hobby Hand said his sea monkeys actually lived. The hippity hop. You remember the hippity hop? It's like a, a ball you sit on, it's like a giant bouncing ball yeah. you'd sit on. It's dangerous as hell. You'd jump on it and it would bounce. Dude, we had the best unsafe toys. Our toys were awesome in the 70s. I mean, yeah. so we you can never get away with making the toys we play with. Yeah, I didn't know they were still around either. Goofy foot. Yeah, big wheels, man. They had no uh, traction. All plastic. We had a dirt road. We grew up on a dirt road, man. It was hard to yeah. use that on a dirt road. Yeah, Brad was, playing with, Brad was playing with flamethrowers and throwing axes. No, but I did play hockey as a kid. Hockey was, was fun. Did you ever play hockey where you were at? Did you love up north when you were a kid? I never yeah. asked you, but yeah. I played I played ice hockey when I was a kid. So yeah, we played hockey. Actually, I played hockey until I was in my thirties. Okay, awesome. Uh, up in uh, Erie, PA, they actually have leagues up there for adults. Okay. So yeah, I played until I was in my uh, upper thirties. Really, actually, when my son was born, when I uh, quit. Cool. Um, I love hockey, man. Oh. Hockey is a great sport. It's fun to play. It's really fun to play. Yeah. Get any fights? Well, that only happens with professional hockey. Nah, we got in fights, man. We were not in fights, T. Oh yeah, dude, I'm too competitive, man. I got kicked out a bunch of times. Yeah, they, they, made, they made up a T-shirt for me. Uh, send my calls to the penalty box, mm -hmm. or forward my calls my pen to the penalty box. The penalty box, man. The penalty box is small price to pay. Sometimes it's totally worth it, though. Yeah, I lost a tooth. Yeah. Um, had stitches in my jaw. Luckily, my jaw did not get broken. Dude. Yeah, it's a tough sport. I mean, even even if it's a non-check league, it still gets it gets brutal out there, man. Love hockey. Yeah, street hockey. I play street hockey. Play roller hockey. Yeah. They're all fun. 
The band Lawn Darts. Yeah, Lawn Darts. Back when we had Lawn Darts, man, they actually had a point on them. They were metal. They're metal, man. They're a uh, weapon. They're a yeah, weapon. Some people called them long darts. I called them ninja weapons because I would hurl those things violently at stuff. <laughs> like, if you could get your lawn dart to stick in a tree, you were the man. <laughs> those things hurt, man. I got one in a foot one time. Did you? Wow. Yeah. Missed my toe, though, man. Freaking put a hole in my shoe, but missed my foot. <laughs> Oh, that's what I'm goodness. saying. We're gonna take this amazingly sharp dart and throw it in the air. Like they would never make that today. No. But we loved it. We loved yeah, they, it. Now they make them with like a little weight. They find ways to make them more dangerous. Yeah, now they make them with like a little weight or something like that. Mm. They still make them, but they are not a metal point. Dude, do you remember creepy crawlers? You would like make these uh, little bugs and insects. By putting metal molds in an oven? Oh, yeah. I do remember those. Yeah. Do you remember Creepy Crawlers? Yeah, we never that's had a perfect, them. Never, that's a perfect them. kid's toy. Play with the oven. <laughs> yeah, with the oven. Yeah, I do remember those. It's supposed to be adult supervision, I do believe. Now, goofy, goofy Foot knows. He still has a set of lawn darts. They come out every 4th of July for the kids. Nice. Goofy Foot oh. is legit. Nice Goofy Even Foot. The, He's keeping the lawn darts alive. Nice. I love that. that. That was fun to play, though. It was fun. It was fun. It's kind of like horseshoes. Shrinky Dinks, yeah. Don't remember Shrinky Dinks. They still have Shrinky Dinks. What's Shrinky Dinks? The, you, like, draw on this, like, plastic stuff you put in the oven, and it gets really small. Like, you can draw a big picture, and when you put it in the oven, it shrinks. It's like clear plastic, basically, but it shrinks when you heat it up in the oven. Called Shrinky Dinks. I don't remember that. Yeah, we did. I did something with Shrinky Dinks this year with my kids in my classroom as a little thing to take home. No, really? Yeah. It's really amazing though, because you start with something big and it shrinks way down and gets real small. You know, micro takes something big and makes it micro, <laughs> like really gets it way smaller. It's kind of a cool thing. Yeah, I don't remember those. Hmm. Mm -hmm. I can't believe they're still around. Hoppy Hand says, I lived in a place where fireworks. Were free game, ten year olds would combine and explode them. I don't know how safe that was, man. Yeah, you still got all your feet, toes, and fingers. Up, man. Yeah. Hands. He did on the video when we had him on. Yeah, that's true. What do they call them? M eighties? Do they still have M eighties? It was like a little. That's what we used to blow stuff up with M eighties. Yeah, I don't know if they still make those. Cherry bombs. It's like a little, yeah. Remember cherry bombs? I remember cherry bombs. M eighties. They had a bunch, didn't they? Have M80s, M40s. Yeah. And wasn't uh, there was another one above M80? There was almost like a half stick dynamite. One hundred, maybe. M80s were, I guess, the strongest ones that we could find right, that they that could was... sell. But there probably was stuff above that. There was like one they had that I never saw, but they said that it was like a half a stick of dynamite. Old school says we used to blow up stuff real good with cherry bombs. Real good. Rainwater Game says we have an Indian in reservation like a half hour from here. So people here, so people here, but M80s and basically like sticks of dynamite <laughs> over there from this time of year. They call it Boom City. Boom City. A pineapple is a three quarter stick of dynamite. Really? Wow. M80s will blow your finger off. They certainly will. Be yes, they will. You're lighting them. Yep. We that's what we used to use to blow up our, our our model tanks and stuff. We would build models and then blow them up. This was before they had um, where you could you know this was pre cell phones and everything. Man, it would have been cool to have videos, all that stuff getting blown up. You probably have people doing that on YouTube. Yep, blowing up models and stuff. I remember one time, man, I lit a firecracker. And the fuse went all the way in. You couldn't see the fuse anymore. Uh -huh. So I thought for sure it was a dud, right? Uh -huh. I go up there to freaking grab it, and it freaking went it off. Up. Wow. Oh, my ear it rang. Oh, I was deaf for like a couple minutes. I was so scared. I was gonna lost my hearing. Who would have thought? I mean, I, I didn't like – I waited like a little bit too. It's not like I rushed it. I mean, yeah, I kind of waited a delay. There. Must have been inside of the, oh, inside of the firework. 
It's almost like there was like a little spark and it actually took off again and boom. Carl Luckily, used to beat the rich kids with the green machine with his big wheel. Nice. But probably right. couldn't do the 360s and 180s like you could on the big wheel. Big wheel was low to the ground. Yeah, sure was. I was beating the kids with my big wheel when I was 15. <laughs> on that note. They had nothing on me, man. <laughs> yeah, on that note. <laughs> I think I would probably would have broke it if I was Brandon when I was 15. <laughs> yeah, Howie Hand said, yeah, I had one blow up in my hand. I was lucky, though. You are lucky. Carl, the green machine was next level. Mom and Dad said, green machine, too expensive for you. Big wheel is all you get, sucker. That's it. Just a big wheel. Yeah. And uh, my my wheel fell off. Yeah. I think the back, one of the back ones fell off. Yeah, those plastic wheels will wear out if you rode them on the concrete. Like we, would, we, would literally, we would literally like wear holes in them on those toys, um, on those little toy uh, big wheels and green machines and stuff. Match pack bombs. Huh. Light up a whole match pack. Yeah. Dangerous stuff, man. Dangerous stuff. Dangerous stuff. That's 11 o'clock already. I know. I know. We need to wrap this up, man. Yep. Just let, let everybody know. My personal news was okay. I did find a house down in North Carolina, Hampstead area. So I will be moving. House is supposed to close on July 10th. So sometime in July, we'll be moving down to North Carolina. Out of, I'm moving out of Pittsburgh. Yeah. As long as everything goes good and it closes. Yeah. We'll get the house. So I'll be on the move again. Well, good luck, T. I know, T, you've been looking hard. You've been looking for a while. I wish you the best of luck getting this house. Yeah, hopefully everything goes through. Uh -huh. I won't say 100% closes. Thanks, Carl. Hopefully, hopefully there's nothing uh, wrong with it. Thank you Especially for tuning in 32 bit arcade. He said it's three in the morning um, where oh, he's at. Yeah. Oh, Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate it. Thanks so much, 32-bit. Appreciate it, man. Have a great night. Good morning. Sun be coming up there soon. Gregory says congrats. Thanks, man. Yeah, hopefully this will be last time. Well, I have one more move. And no yeah. more no more moving for me for a while. Yeah. Cool thing was we're uh, going to be like 10 minutes from the beach as well, which is awesome. That's going to be awesome. You know what that means? More walking shells. Walking shells are coming. They're coming. Walking shells. Look out. I'll be able to do episodes. A bunch of them. The walking shell will return. Ah, one will return this weekend, actually. Awesome. I, I can't wait. It. I can't wait. I love I love I love that format. It's interesting to watch. Yeah. I'll definitely be tuning in. Not the greatest one, but Wasn't very many shells out there. I think it's because the tide no. was starting to come in, so you couldn't get like real far down and by the water because the, the tide was coming back in. Got my damn shoes all wet, man. I thought it was in the clear. I was like, "What?" You'll see it on the walk and talk. I'll keep it in there because I was like, I saw the wave coming while I was filming. No way. So I, I saw the water coming, so I, I was stepping back. <laughs> so I'm like, "Oh, I'm in the clear." Then all of a sudden, whoosh, went across oh, my man. shoes. I'm like, oh, uh, man. It was my good shoes gotcha. too. Gotcha, man. Yep. So gotcha. I'll, I'll, even if it's not a good part, I'll, I'll make sure you don't clip that out. Yeah, we talked about home arcade when we started, but yeah, uh, I arcade tomorrow, eleven o'clock central. That's right, R A. Yeah, I arcade news, eleven a.m. central. I arcade's gonna announce something. Well, See what good it news. Be. I'll be tuning that's in because he already broke silence, right? Because he said it might be a while. He said two months. It hasn't been two months. It's only been like what three weeks, maybe? Yeah, like two or three weeks. Not that yeah, too so that's bad. That's good news. That's kind of good news. Good. Hopefully, it's good that they're communicating. Hopefully, it's good news they're communicating. Yeah. We'll wait and see. You know, who knows? 
Don't have to wait long now. One thing I've learned with iArcade is you really can't speculate because you you don't know what they're going to do. What's the big news? Until they tell you. Got to tune in tomorrow. Be uh, 12 p.m. our time, Carlo. Eastern. Then you have the Friday arcade show. Friday night arcade show. Yep, Friday night. We're doing the summer games. Four new games. No, Carlo has got the games he's going to be playing. It's going to be fun. I think Brooklyn Menace Man uh, left the stream after I butchered the, trying to say the Friday arcade show. Yeah, Friday night, Friday night arcade show. Yeah. I think I called it a Friday night Arcadian show. That's like, no, oops. no. You're mixing the two shows. There's the I Arcadians know. and the Friday night arcade show, but it's okay. I it's I think, okay. I think Brooklyn left. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. You got, it doesn't matter. You got it I like I like all arcades. It's all good. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. I should just let you say it. Well, you got to learn how to say it at some point. Well, there you go. Glenn's deck, maybe. Yeah. Could be. Could be. be. Could be a lot of things. It. We've heard that Glenn's deck's been ready for a while. So that, that, that's, a, that's a possibility. Yeah, could be. Who knows? Tune in tomorrow and you'll find out. The, the good thing is you, we don't have to wait that long. No. It's just it's, tomorrow. Uh, it's not that long away now. No. Nah, uh, 13 hours. That's it. hours, yeah. Not too bad. So I, I'll just try to tune in, but I'll probably be driving already when it starts. Florida, a block from the beach. Nice, goofy foot. I'm not a block. Ten minutes ain't bad, though. That's with traffic, too. I think if there wasn't traffic, it would be even a little less. But Too expensive to be near the beach up there. Brooklyn has a great mini golf show every week. Yeah, yeah, mini golf's pretty fun. Or looks pretty fun. Papa Brad's going to get VR here when Quest 3 comes out. Yeah, I'm going to get it when the new one comes out. Must be this fall. Not that far off. Yeah, probably, probably uh, late October or November, I would think, for Christmas. Yeah. A lot of the new stuff comes out in November for Christmas. Thanks, Sam. Sam, great show, guys. Catch you all later. Sure. Good seeing you. All right, everybody. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in tonight. Thank you, guys. Especially being on the road again. On the road again. On the road Don't again. Behind me. Yep. Oh, man, dude, I got to pack all those arcades up, man, and move them. Oh. That's going to be fine. It'll be better. You'll be so happy. I better put imagine, imagine getting away from the, the Pittsburgh winters. I know. I mean, the snow is, you know. Leave Carl O in the dust. <laughs> Poor Carlo. <laughs> Say yourself. Be seemingly shoveling snow. <laughs> I'll be like, hey, man, it's like 80 here. Yeah, I think the uh, realtor uh, told us dude, dude, dude. yesterday. Carlo like wants you to take him out Darth Vader style. Can we go out Darth Vader style? He always wants to go out Darth Vader style. Yeah. I, gotta, I, I, I guess I got to do an outro for Darth Vader. So. Darth Vader's popular. Yeah, we need it. We need a we need a, a Darth Vader outro. Biggie D says great show. My little grandson um always used to call Darth Vader Dark Vader. Dark it's like Vader. it's Dark Vader. Dark Vader. It makes sense because he's black, you know? The color is black and it's dark, right? So he called him Dark Vader for a long time. That's funny. Dark Vader. Makes it sense makes, though. It makes sense. It actually makes more sense than Darth Vader, but hey. Yeah. Yeah, we got a couple spare bedrooms, uh, Caro. That's a couple spare ones. Has a three, it's three bedroom, and then it has a, a huge bonus room up above the garage. Yeah, yeah actually, Biggie D in room. the chat. What you got? What, what does Biggie D have going on? Is I hope he's streaming soon. I like Biggie D's streams. He's a great uh, YouTuber. He does good content. Yeah, he had uh, Phil from PD Seven on last Sunday. I know it was awesome. It was fun. That was a good. That was a good interview. It was good. Yeah. yeah. I enjoyed that. All right, everybody. Have a great Thursday. Have a great weekend. Hopefully see you on uh, Arcadian Friday night show tomorrow night. Friday night arcade show. <laughs> the Friday, Friday night, night arcade show. Friday night arcade show. No, the Friday night arcade show. Well, he always has our, our, our arcade logo. Uh, <laughs> we'll end it with that. It's the Arcadian show, the Arcade yeah, show. Yeah, they're all they're all the same. It's all good.
<laughs> see you All right, tomorrow. guys. Take care. Have a great weekend. Hopefully see you guys tomorrow night. And can I find it? Oh, there it is. <laughs>